Final score tonight from Finley Stadium, 58-25. Campbells will win over the Kentucky Christian Knights. And uh, Coach Harry Thomas win number five, number four. More importantly, 2-0 and now in the Bluegrass Division. Well, huge victory for us. You know, we're not very good right now. We still have a ton of work to do, but the guys are finding a way to win. And, uh, you know, Kentucky Christian came here tonight and took it to us. But we was able to get the victory and go 4-0, I think, for the first time since 01 or something like that. So, you know, that's, that's a great uh, compliment to these guys. It was a, kind of an ugly game at times. Uh, there was some beauty as well, but a win is a win is a win. 1,091 combined total yards for these teams, 195 plays. Your team ran uh, defensively 112. It was against it. Uh, went up against 112 plays tonight. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, at times I thought we looked really good, and then we would just have breakdowns and uh, give up some yards or something and give up first downs or same thing on offense. We would have a breakdown and not convert a first down or settle for a couple of field goals when we should be getting touchdowns. But, you know, at the same time, uh, Kentucky Christian got a little rhythm going and they got some confidence. And we talked about this last year when we were sitting there 2-8, and eight, that you give a team that's losing confidence and they're going to hang around and, and fight fish with you. And then it took us till the, you know, fourth quarter before we was able to stretch the lead out a little. Campbell's head coach Perry Thomas joining us, his team winning over Kentucky Christian tonight. Coach, uh, Again, not trying to make excuses, but your team had that almost month delay between games. Uh, I'm wondering if that still maybe carried over some tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think it still lingers. You know, we're still uh, off timing-wise a lot. We're still off in our competitive uh, fundamentals, not not necessarily in our competitiveness. You know, we, we, we compete with you, but our fundamentals when we're competing against that top-notch uh, talent, uh, we're still a little off with that. But, you know, taking nothing away from Kentucky Christian, those guys came in with a great game plan. They got a rhythm going, like I said. You know, a big play, they got the pooch kick that we didn't cover, and, uh, you know, they, they took it to us. Uh, fortunately, we was able to get the victory and go 4-0, and but we have some things that we have to fix, and, you know, the, at some point that layoff can't keep lingering with us you know at some point we have to step our game up and improve to the level that we need to be in midseason a couple of hunter brown passes were tipped and intercepted uh, not much you can do about that but uh, that stalled you out a couple of times in the first half yeah we missed some reads on some things we missed some blocks on some things and uh you know, it, it led to a couple, I think, three field, uh, field goals and, and also, you know, a couple of times where we had to punt the ball and just didn't convert. So, you know, once again, that rhythm's off a little. And, uh, you know, it's our job to fix it, and we will. The great thing, though, is we're fixing it being undefeated. And that's a lot better than, you know, with it being here 2-2 two and two or 1-3 and three or, or even 3-1. and one. You know, you have to be able to figure out how to win. So as long as you're doing that, then things can't be too bad. Campbell's will win tonight, 58 to 25 over KCU. Uh, Coach, almost a luxury, I guess. There were several times tonight that you'd shuffle in four linemen on defense and then you'd swap them out. Uh, something you've not had that luxury in the last few years. Yeah, we, we're trying to play 10 guys up there and, and roll them in and out, give them four five plays and get another group in and I thought that paid dividends for us as the game went on especially in that fourth quarter in a tight game like this it, it, you know it played a big key and we're trying to do the same thing with our three inside linebackers with Hollis Manning and uh, and more give them a little less reps on the field you know on a night where we had a lot of reps on defense uh, I think it really helped us and we're going to try to do that the rest of the year. B.J. Pelt has had an interception the first two games had the the key fumble recovery a week ago two picks tonight he's he stepped up and played well for you in the secondary it appears well you know once again you know bj's a, a, a baller for us and uh he, he, he actually did a good job. You know, we gave up some passes on, on uh, you know, in a couple of spots, but I thought B.J., other than one or two plays, did a really tremendous job. Came up with a couple of big picks, and he always he's always around that football. Um, fundamentally sound, gives up some inches in height, you know, sometimes, and that causes the issues, but I thought he did a great job. Still missing uh, Kendon Young, uh, nursing a knee, and then Noah Bixter uh, misses his second game tonight. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm not, you know, we don't know the status of Noah right now. He may be done for the year, but Kendon should be back here in the coming weeks. And, you know, it's great to get those guys back in the lineup when they can. And, you know, hopefully Noah will be fine. But if not, then we're going to have to find somebody to back Bradley up, you know, in case we have an issue with that. Well, Coach, uh, you turn the page next Saturday at Cincinnati against the Cincinnati Christian Eagles. 
another road game for you, another chance uh, to get a win, and also a chance to continue to fine-tune this team. Yeah, I mean, we, we're going to go down and face a team that's, once again, that's struggling a little bit, and, um, you know, we can't give them stuff to get excited about, you know, but the key right now for me, though, is still because I really feel like this is game two tonight. I really feel like that's where we're at in the season is we have to continue to get better, and we're having the chance to play games now to do that. So we got to look at this film, dig, dissect it, and go to work on Monday and, and you know, improve where we can go to Cincinnati and hopefully get a win. Coach, we'll look forward to that, and we'll uh, see you in the Queen City next Saturday. Yes, sir, thank you. Coach Perry Thomas and his Tigers winning tonight over at Kentucky Christian. by final of 58 to 25. We leave you now on TV. Stay connected. We'll be back after the break on radio here as Campbellsville wins over KCU under the lights here at Finley Stadium, 58 to 25. As we say, you're following the Tigers. This is the Campbellsville University Sports Network.